What really happened between Mark and Debbie Constantino, a much respected couple amongst the paranormal community, and some may know them, some may not, but they certainly gathered a lot of great evidence and some memories during their time here. And I first seen this couple on Ghost Adventures during the first couple of seasons, and Zach and the crew called these guys to help with a specific investigation, and they always lived up to their work, they always got great evidence, EVPs, and they were EVP specialists, so, you know, they captured a lot of great stuff. It gets deeper than just Ghost Adventures, though. In September of 2015, an unfortunate situation happened between these two. And I don't know if we should blame this on demons being attached to the family or just blame it on the inner rage that Mark supposedly had. And Mark and Debbie were involved in a murder-suicide. Apparently, Mark killed their roommate and then he proceeded to kill Debbie before killing himself. And when you look back on it, when you watch those episodes of Ghost Adventures, I always got the vibe that Mark had some anger issues just from the way how he would talk to Debbie and how he would look at her and treat her. From reports of friends of both Mark and Debbie, it seemed like they were in an abusive and toxic relationship. And I've seen on the internet where they supposedly say that he was possessed that caused him to do all this, but I believe that's far from the truth. Furthermore, Mark's daughter even took the social media and ran it to say that her father is watching over her from heaven and her mother is in hell where she belongs. So apparently the daughter had hatred towards her mother as well. And not too long ago, the Ghost Adventures crew did a special EVP session trying to contact them. And, you know, Zach, if anybody knows that family, it would be Zach because they had a special relationship and they all got along really well. It was like family. And it really hurt Zach. I remember they were posting on Twitter and, and stuff. It was just unbelievable because I was like, man, that's an unfortunate situation. And, you know, the events that occurred around it, it was like, man, because she had got herself out of that situation. And in my opinion, with all due respect to the family and loved ones, I just feel like Mark had a lot of personal demons and anger issues that he couldn't control. But like I said, it was very sad, and I don't condone none of that that took place, and my respect goes out to the loved ones and the family members affected by this. But yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments about this situation down below, and catch y'all on the next video. Peace.